The opinion polls had suggested that Erdogan was trailing, so what happened? Well, I think worldwide accurate polling appears to be an oxymoron. <laughs> and uh, Turkey had its share, Turkey had its share of that as well. You're absolutely right. Um, last minute polls indicated that the opposition leader, Mr. Kılıçdaroğlu, would just by a very small margin win um, the election for the presidential contest. That not only did this not happen, he didn't even come ahead if the final figures are correct, if they're not going to be changed because there will be appeals and stuff. So in that sense, it's a big disappointment for the opposition and for those who supported the opposition. That's, for the moment, this is, in my judgment, the clearest thing that can be said as to why uh, we'll have to really analyze the voting pattern. And it is indeed interesting because, as you said, we do have or we've been living in a fairly delicate, to say, to be polite about it, economic con situation. The standard of living of everyone, except for the maybe top 10% of Turks, has been declining. Uh, the inflation is very high by world standards. Uh, urban middle classes have been losing ground in terms of their living standards as well. And under those circumstances, the safe bet was that uh, a lot of constituencies that have previously supported Mr. Erdogan, a lot of them mainly because they were happy with the economic performance of the, of the government, were defecting. And uh, when, you look at, uh, when you look at the uh, parliamentary results as well, for AKP to have 35% and his partner to have 10%, so jointly 45%, is quite remarkable. It's, it is really quite remarkable.